How you doing? Welcome to Maine. We have a deer swimming by our campsite. What's up everybody? I'm heading to Maine. Got my canoe and all my gear packed up and I'm ready to go. Got about a three and a half hour drive ahead of me and when I get to where I'm going, I'll check back in with you. Thanks for joining me. Let's do this. Oh, I'm super excited. Six days. I made it. Welcome to Lake Richardson, guys. I'm on Lake Richardson for the next six days. I've got about nine and a half miles to paddle today to get to where I'm going. And I've been on the water for 30 minutes and I'm about three miles into it right now. Third of the way done. And I know that because the island is right there. I'm approaching Spirit Island, and that's approximately three miles into the paddle. Fingers crossed for continued good weather. We've got a bunch of clouds up ahead of us here. We're rolling in, actually. We've got about six and a half more miles to paddle to get to where I'm going tonight. Big Pine Island. And at Big Pine Island, I'm meeting up with my buddy Craig and his buddy James. We're all gonna hang out, enjoy this lake for six days, and see what there is to see. Looking forward to it. Even though it's really nice out right now, we have about a 60% chance of thunder and lightning storms. So I didn't really want to waste much time. I want to get as far up this lake as I can before that happens, if that happens. I don't want to get caught in that rain. Battling some pretty good headwinds right now. It's not going to help the pace any. At least it's not raining. Stopping to take a quick break here at the campsite. I'm about five and a half miles into my paddle. Got about four to go. It's really windy, so I'm just taking a break. See if the wind dies down any, and uh, just gonna enjoy the view. Now that I'm paddling up this lake a bit more, it's starting to get a little more wild. Not quite so many houses, and that wind. Ooh. There it is. We've got four miles to go. We'll see how long it takes. Heard thunder and it's starting to sprinkle. There's a campsite right back there, Narrows One. Making me wonder if I should take it or not. I know there's more campsites ahead. Looks like we might be in for a passing shower. This is a really interesting situation. I did end up getting caught in the rain and now I've paddled to a spot on shore. Lucky to have one. And we're gonna wait this out. Hopefully it doesn't last too long. I've got my tarp all ready to go, just in case I feel like I need to set it up. We'll see. Well, that wasn't so bad. Quick passing shower. Hopefully it holds out for the next couple miles. It is magically calm right now. What an interesting day for a paddle. It won't be long and I'll be at the island. I can see it. It's in clear view. What an awesome way to wrap up a paddle for today. Wow. This is nice. There's some nice mountains over there. And it's just so calm. What a change of pace. It's always an adventure. That's what makes these canoe trips so fun. You just never really know what you're gonna end up with and it can change in the blink of an eye adventure and it's only day one get some nice rollers to finish off the day
Gentlemen. Justin, how are you, man? I'm well. How are you? How you doing? Good. Welcome to Maine. Yahoo! made it to the island. Um, took me three hours. I put my boat in at 12.02 and got here at exactly three o'clock. So that's not bad. Nine and a half miles, I'm happy with that, including the brakes. It's a really fun paddle in. It was very interesting. But now I'm here at the island. I'm all set up, situated, and it is buggy. These bugs here are terrible. I mean, it's just nuts. It's like clouds of them. Down here on the shoreline, it's not so bad, but once you get up there towards the campsite, they just, they get crazy. It's unbelievable. Pine Island is pretty nice. It's really nice out here. Right there, check that out. That's our view. It's nice out here. What a spot. Tonight I'm using my Superior Hammock. I'll show you guys that set up right now. Never used it before and I'm really excited about it. All right, I have my hammock all set up. This is a Superior Gear hammock with a 30 degree integrated under quilt and I'm pairing that with my get out gear 45 degree quilt pariah sanctuary seal tarp 10 by 12 and we're gonna give it a shot this will be my first trip ever using this hammock system so I'm really excited to see how it does and can't wait to tell you guys more about it thank you gentlemen nice to Maine to Maine the main woods. A man-made lake, Richardson Lake is named after George Richardson, whom in 1832 bought 24,000 acres of land in the area for $2,956, approximately 12 cents an acre. He bought the land with intentions of preserving it. In the mid-1850s, Upper Dam and Middle Dam were constructed for logging purposes. The results are the lake we know today, approximately 14 miles long and one and a half miles wide. With many primitive campsites scattered along its shore, it's said the lake can offer you a wilderness experience that can seemingly transport you back in time. And we're gonna spend the next five days exploring it. We're heading that way tomorrow. Hopefully the wind calms down by then. It's windy. Wow. This is barbecued pulled pork from our own pigs and mosquitoes. Look at that. We're in for one treat of a night, I believe. Hilltop packs coffee. Oh yeah. And mosquitoes. Campsite's all cleaned up. Had ourselves a nice relaxing morning. Now we're packing up. It's time to scoot on to the next one. Check that out guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. We have a deer swimming by our campsite. Hitting that sandbar. How cool is that? 
So a couple years ago, I actually saw a deer swimming on a lake near my house. And that's the first time I'd ever seen that. And it got me really curious. So I started looking into how well deer can swim. And it turns out they're fantastic swimmers. They can swim up to 10 miles, like quite frequently. They'll cross lakes, no problem to get to the other side and get to the good stuff. I thought that was pretty fascinating. So we got one swimming out right there. It's wild. Yeah, what a treat, man. What a treat. Good morning, everyone. We're back on the water. We're leaving Big Pine Island, and we're heading to Big Beaver Island. We have about a six-mile paddle today, and it could be interesting because it's really windy on the other side of that lake, and we have to cross it. So, we shall see. Had a really nice night last night, and just in case you're wondering, I slept like a champ in that hammock. That hammock has an integrated 30 degree underquilt and I was concerned that it'd be too hot. But the temperatures are dipping into the mid to low 50s at night and, and I was fine. So I'm glad I tried it, I'm glad I brought it. I like it. It's so nice and calm out here right now and we know that that's all about to change. The other side of that island is getting pounded with wind. And we're about to go right into it. So we've taken a little bit of a break on an island over here and we're gonna assess the situation. Because out there, it doesn't look too terribly bad, but let me show you guys what we have to cross to get to where we're going. It's pretty gnarly. All right, guys, this is what we're looking at. And we have to get way over there. camera will pick it up but there are a lot of really big white caps out there and that's just and it's windy and that's just a paddle that I don't really want to make so we got to figure something out all right guys we've made up our mind what we're gonna do is head that way because it's a little bit calmer kind of quarter down that way try and try our best to get to that shoreline and then work our way up Staying here would be great, but it's only 9.30 in the morning, and I, all of us, we don't really want to stay here all day, so we'd rather be moving, making progress. This doesn't look too bad. We're going to go for it. We're cutting our angle, trying to make our way to the opposite shoreline. Nice paddle, gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. good. Yes, we do. I'm so glad we got over here. Me too. Because there's little coves like this all the way so we can get refuge. Now that we've made it to the other side of the lake, we're going to skirt the coves, try our best to keep the woods coming head on, and go from point to point. lost my hat. All right, that was a gnarly paddle, but we made it to shore and we're gonna take a break. Have some lunch, get something to eat, recharge, and tackle more gnarly water. <laughs> What a rush. Ooh, what a paddle that was. We made it to the Half Moon campsite. And uh, it's good to be on solid ground. 
gonna have myself a nice cold beer and some pizza. Yeah, and I'm having a jar of peanut butter with a stick because I forgot my spoon, I'm too lazy to dig it out. On a wrap for now, and maybe an avocado. Avocados are good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Awesome paddle today so far, gentlemen. That was a doozy. It was wild. But I'm so glad we got here. Me too. You know what I mean? Instead of not Now, going. worst case scenario, we're here. We're on this side. Yeah. yeah. And we have all day to get there. That was kind of a gnarly paddle. I've got like a paddler's high right now because of it though. Now that we're on solid ground and getting ready to go back out there, it's just, that was a fun paddle. All right, guys, we're back on the water. That was an awesome break. Some well-deserved rest on some solid ground and we're back at it. Seems like the wind's calming down, but I don't really, who knows, right? We're gonna go around this cove, out past this point, and probably get right back into the waves. So, here we go. There's some decent swells and it's still pretty windy. So, I took the hat off. I'm not chancing it. Woo, she ain't letting us off the hook that easy, boys. Windy, choppy, slow going. Battle in a serious headwind. Probably the longest six miles I've ever paddled in my life. island we're within striking distance it won't be long now I gotta say I'm looking forward to getting out of this canoe Just walking around my butt hurts that was a long six miles Thank you. we made it this is Big Beaver Island Nice little camp spot here. Check out this view. Not too shabby. The campsite's right up here. Check that out. White lady slippers. I'm thinking I'm setting my hammock up right between those two trees. Mm -hmm. You got James setting up his tent lakeside. Big Agnes solo tent. That thing is so sweet. And there's Craig doing his thing with his hammock. There's Craig set up right there. And look at those colors. Oh, that's awesome. In the view. For dinner tonight, I'm having chicken thighs and asparagus. Yep. Oh yeah. Dude, that was beautiful. Chicken thighs and asparagus. Yum.
Raisin Bran Crunch. Good morning. It's a beautiful, calm morning on the lake today. Very nice. It'll probably start getting windy this afternoon, so I think I'm going to take advantage of the calm water, go out there and do some fishing. It's a really nice morning out. Perch or trout? That's what I'm going for. I'm just floating down this cove along the shoreline trying to catch some fish. So far, I've been fishing for over an hour using this. And I haven't had a single bite, so I'm almost down at the end of the cove. And when I get there, I'll change it up and work my way back. It's so nice out here. It's unbelievable. We're working on day three right now and we haven't seen any other paddlers. It's just been us. The island we're staying on right now has four campsites. We're the only ones there. That is a loon's nest. Changing up my lure. Gonna give this guy a go. Toss this guy in and do some trolling. I'm just going to do some trolling out of this cove and see what happens. There's that loon again. It's absolutely beautiful out today. What a change of pace compared to yesterday. I'm just paddling my way back to camp, nice and slow. Got a line in the water, I'm trolling. And I'm trying, I'm trying. Craig and Jim have been coming to this lake for six years in a row. But those guys have both been paddling longer than I've been alive. Their collective experience is enormous. And on a day like yesterday, that came in really handy. If you pay attention to what they're doing, watch what they're doing, and try your best to do what they're doing and learn. I'm not going to lie, you know, yesterday was a pretty sketchy situation. A few times it got real hairy, and those guys were great. You know, at one point my hat flew off my head, and it was gnarly and windy and white capping, and I didn't feel like I had the technical know-how or skill set to safely turn my boat around in that situation and go get my hat so I just figured it's gone because this was my grandfather's hat he had it for years had it for a really long time and I took possession of it after he died and I was willing to say that I love you and it's been fun hat rest easy but Craig he turned around went and got it for me and that just, that was awesome. That was stand up, really kind of them to do. And I still have my hat. So anyway, their collective experience is enormous and it's fun to watch those guys paddle. There's a lot to learn from people that have been doing it for a long time. And those guys have known each other since second grade and have pretty much been really good friends ever since. It's fun to watch them hanging out and bantering back and forth. <laughs> It's a good time, I'm happy to be here. All right, I've been fishing all morning. It's 12.30, I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. I'm heading back to camp. Eggs, spam, cheese, bread. I'm hungry. This is going to be delicious. Eggs from our chickens. And spam from our... <laughs> from our cow. <laughs> oh, that's going to be good.
Ho oh, mama. Nice wood. It's all cedar though. That's how you get firewood, folks. Lunch was awesome. That was absolutely delicious. I love Spam. I hardly ever eat it, but man, is it good. Enjoyed some lunch, had a good afternoon hanging out with the boys. Now we're out here on the water for an evening of fishing. This does not suck. Right now, this is the guy I'm using, and with any luck, something will hit it. Not skunked. <laughs> oh boy. It's just a chub. Look at him. Yeah, it's cute. All right, I'm gonna switch it up. Use this guy right here, attached to a wobbler, and I'm gonna uh, do some trolling. It's time to go back in and think about dinner. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Dinner's gonna be good tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight for dinner, I am having lamb loin chops and Brussels sprouts. Yummy. Be delicious. Well, that's guys in the morning. It's four forty five. Slight sprinkling on the tarp. Fingers crossed we don't get poured on. Check that out. That is a beautiful sunrise, but slightly foreboding. Breakfast of champions right here. Gonna eat some breakfast, I'm pretty much all packed up. And uh, we're gonna try and beat the rain. Just waiting on Craig. <laughs> we know that there's potential weather coming so last night we talked about what we were going to do and we all agreed that we were going to wake up early and split it's not even six o'clock yet and my campsite is broke down so we're ready to go really humid this morning kind of stuffy <clears throat> i woke up really stuffy pollen everywhere it's humid kind of warm today i think this is the hottest it's been the muggiest it's been the most uncomfortable i've been the whole trip Six o'clock in the morning and I'm sweating. Ah. Got the area all policed up. Got some wood there for the next hikers. <laughs> Got some wood there for the next campers. We're packing, <laughs> <laughs> and we're packing up and getting out of here. What a nice morning. Yep. You uh, you better now, Grouchy? Oh my god. <laughs> I 
one time and I'm really not gonna be grumpy. No, I know, I'm just fucking fucking with you. Alright, we're leaving camp, back on the water. We're gonna make the crossing to the opposite shore. Uh, hopefully the weather holds out because pretty big stretch of water. And the whole reason we woke up early was to beat the wind and the rain. So we'll see if that paid off. I would say this crossing is three, three and a half miles anyway. I figure we're about halfway through it right now and the wind is picking up. It's raining off to my right. I can see it in the clouds. But so far, this isn't too bad. Hopefully it holds up. So we've made the crossing and we're gonna go check out the dam, fish in the area. It's not raining, doesn't look too threatening. So we're just gonna hang out and do some fishing. That wasn't so bad at all. That was fun. That was fun. A good morning paddle. Check out this dam, good lighting. Way up there, that's the dam. Just caught a yellow perch. Nice looking fish. Too small though, I'm not gonna eat him. I'm gonna let him go. Caught another chubby. Changing it up. This is the upper dam located on the eastern shore of Upper Lake Richardson. On the other side of this dam is Lake Muslik Maguntik. This dam creates the primary inflow to the Richardson Lakes. Got a nice little yellow perch there. Back in you go. Any luck? I got like six to eight perch and one big chub. Yep. Nothing worth saving. All right, we're done fishing and now we're heading back down the lake. Tonight we're heading back to Big Pine Island. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna be making some stops and taking some breaks before we get there. Whitney Point. Over here at Whitney Point, taking a break. The bugs are terrible. We're gonna eat some food, assess the situation, and figure out collectively as a group what it is that we wanna do from here. First, food. I'm hungry. And for lunch, I'm having leftover pizza, bacon, and a Yoohoo candy bar that I've never had before. Never had it. Didn't even know this existed. And I love you who's. And my daughter got this for me for the trip, so it's going down. That was delicious. Now it's time to go fishing. First trout. We're at the Whitney Point campsite. It's a really spread out, widespread campsite. I think there's four sites here, three sites, three or four, and it's pretty cool. This is the relics of an old logging operation. You know, there's a foundation, it's right there. You know, there's a foundation here and an old stove and some wheels and a cellar hole and granite everywhere, granite steps. And it's just a, it's really cool. I bet there's a lot of history to this place. So there's a campsite over here, campsite over there. Continuing on, there's three. And I think that's it. Three, ah, ah, ah. Three campsites on Whitney's Point. We have decided to press on. We're gonna get to the next point around the next cove and see how it goes. We have wind and waves coming at us from two different directions. It's 
really weird. It's like it's like being in a washing machine. Strange feeling. Just feel like you could get plastered with a gust of wind at any moment. Conditions like this knock you right over. It's white capping out there. We're pulling up on the point right now, and uh, it's white capping out that way. So we're gonna scope out the situation and make a game plan. It's pounding out there. The wind is ripping out here. Right over there is where we've gotta go. And that ain't happening in these conditions. We have the wind coming directly at us. It's also coming from the left, and the waves are coming in from the right. So going all the way around that cove would suck. We're not crossing that. We appear to be windbound. So the site we're on is really exposed. And over on that side, the wind and the waves are hammering. But over here on this side, it's pretty calm. Nice and calm. And I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a campsite over there. So we're gonna go check it out. It might be a lot more protected over there and it might just be worth the effort. So we're going for it. All right guys, sometimes things just don't go according to plan. We were planning on going to Pine Island tonight, but we're here instead. Whatever it is that the lake throws at you, you just have to roll with it. And we've all decided that this is where we're staying. We're gonna hang out here. We told <laughs> It's a lot less exposed and we're concerned about thunder showers and stuff coming through and just wiping us out on that point over there. So we're over here, we're gonna have a good time. It's our penultimate night, so we're gonna have some fun, enjoy each other's company. Jim has his tent set up right there. And Craig and I have our hammocks set up out this way. So there's Craig set up over there. And then over here, we have mine. Pretty nice in here, I like it. That right there is the enemy. You don't want to roll around in that. These things are 8%, man. No joke. Oh boy. Remember folks, don't drink and paddle. We're on solid ground. Ooh yeah. <laughs> cool. Gentlemen. Cheers. Awesome adventuring so Cheers. far. Yeah, man, what a blast. Yes. Peppers and onions. Oh yeah. This is sausage that I made from our pigs. Normally I would make it from scratch, but this time around, my buddy Donny Zara sent me a package of his seasoning. This dude is straight up Italian, and this stuff is delicious. I call it the Zara Special. It's 9.30, it's starting to rain, and we're all going to bed. See you in the morning. Got a nice, pretty breezy morning here on the island, and this isn't an island. Packing up.
Eight o'clock, we're on the water. Last night was fun. That was a really fun night. Yesterday was fun. That was an adventurous day. And everything worked out. Nice campsite. We liked it. Enjoyed it very much. Now we're making the paddle to the Narrows. We've got about seven miles to go. Right now the lake is about as calm as it's been all week, so with any luck it'll, it'll stay that way. Did some raining, thunder, and lightning last night. Did some rain on the tarp this morning, and when I woke up this morning, the wind was pounding, just stopped raining. I thought maybe we were in for one heck of a day, but it's looking like it's clearing up. And I'm loving it. What a time, onward. it might rain so we just pulled off the shore and suited up. thunder off in the distance. I am keeping my eye out for lightning. I'm also starting to make my way closer to the shore for a quick bailout. There's our campsite for the night. Our last night of the trip. We are approaching the Narrows. We made it and now it is starting to rain so we made it just in time i need to throw up my tarp real quick so that i have shelter i am glad we're not out there right now the lake was good to us today i'm thankful for that well, that was a quick, fast-moving storm, and now the sun's out. It's time for a little snack. One of the things that I like to do on these canoe trips where there's no portages is fill water bottles with ice. I'm on day five, and I still have ice cold, fresh water. I'll take this, I'll fill it up to about there, and then I'll freeze it solid. And I bring as many as I can fit in the cooler and then pack all the empty space around it with whatever I'm gonna be bringing for food. And it keeps all my food cold. It allows me to eat fresh, good food. And I have ice cold water for the whole trip. As the block of ice melts, the water is contained and I drink it. It's awesome. I wouldn't do this on a trip where weight matters, but I've got a canoe that's capable of carrying the weight and I enjoy it. It seems to work for me. Oh, and I gotta tell you, it is so good drinking ice cold water on a trip like this. It's so much better than the lake water. Worth it. It is really windy out, better than rain. Well, we've pretty much been windbound all afternoon. The skies cleared out, got really nice, but it was windy. Now it looks like there's a bunch of dark clouds blowing in and looks like it could be raining here shortly. I'd really like some calm weather for this evening to get one last shot at fishing, but we'll see, it is what it is. Either way, it's been an awesome adventure. Tons of fun. 
This guy's are fun to hang out with. So we're just hanging out, having some fun, enjoying each other's company, and let's see if it rains. It's a little bit later on in the day now, so I've got my hammock set up in there. Porch mode with quite the view. I have it in porch mode right now, but tonight when I go to bed, I'll button all of this down, tighten it up, get myself much more protected. Awesome, man. Thank you. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you, gentlemen. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. It's a pleasure. Thanks yeah. for inviting me. Hot dogs! Oh yeah! Pretty excited about that. Hot dogs. Just decided we were gonna go to bed and some wind and rain blew in. It was wicked calm outside and then all of a sudden it just sounded like a freight train coming down the lake. Now we've got some wind, so I'm gonna listen to the pitter patter of rain on my tarp and go to sleep. Last night of the trip. See you guys in the morning. morning guys that was one crazy night lots of heavy wind rain just minutes after we went to bed last night we could hear the wind just cruising down the lake like a freight train and it plastered us it was pretty intense the trees were swaying my hammocks like lowering and raising it was pretty a pretty interesting night the worst sleep i had the whole trip was last night very broken we're all packed up and we're gonna be heading out here shortly. What a fun time, I had so much fun. This is a really nice lake, good company, lots of laughs, lots of adventure, just fun, really fun. It's a pleasure to be out here. It's pretty overcast today, pretty dark clouds, nice and calm right now, but I'm feeling like there's a good possibility that we might get rained on on the way out of here. We got a six mile paddle today, and then we're out of here, done, heading home. Load up, three and a half hour drive home. Let me show you the sky, pretty cool. Yep, yeah, definitely looks like rain. I can feel it in the air, moisture. I feel like the possibility of us getting rain on the paddle out of here is high. So I'm gonna pack all my equipment away and uh, button everything up, get it all nice and watertight. So with that, thank you for watching. This was an awesome time, really good company. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your support, I appreciate it endlessly. I'll catch you on the next one.